Hey, it's Josh and Zach. Hey. It's Thursday, so it's uh, kind of a mid midweek update. So we got some stuff to tell you guys. Well, I have some stuff to tell you guys. I got to be honest. I've kind of slipped on the diet a little bit this week. Not, you know, not hugely, but I'm trying not to beat myself up about it because the important thing is, is it, you're going to slip. That's, I mean, you're going to, you know, yep. you're occasionally going to slip. You're occasionally going to go back into your old habits, which I've done a couple times. But the important thing is, is I'm trying to jump back on the diet. So if I did go off a couple times, I kind of tried to go back on. So we have been trying to kick up our workouts. Yep. We just left the gym. Zach's got us working like these uh, baseline workouts. Yep. You want to explain that? What yeah. We're doing? So what we're going to do every month is kind of do like a physical test. And um, what we started out with between yesterday and today was what we can do as far as max weights on mm -hmm. just simple things like curls, bench press. But today we did push-ups in 60 seconds, sit-ups in 60 seconds. Uh, squats in 60 seconds and how fast can you do a mile so from today in a month from now we'll do it again and obviously we would expect to get better Improve, right so uh just a quick rundown on the mile today um josh got 17 minutes and 48 seconds and then i did 11 minutes and five seconds which we're both embarrassed about i mean to be honest but 11 minute mile is pretty good yeah but if you think about where i was a couple of years, not even a year and a half ago, I was doing eight minutes. Right. So it's, I'm clearly far out of shape from where I was before. And we have a lot, I mean, both of us can improve a huge amount. Oh yeah. I'd like to, I'd like to at least knock off five minutes yeah. of mine, you know, easily. Um, push ups, I did 42 in a minute. He did 17 in a minute. Sit ups, I did 35 in a minute. He did 10 in a minute. Sit ups are not my friend. I've never liked sit ups. And it's kind of hard to do anyway starting out because we're really not hitting abs like a lot. We're doing a lot of more cardio stuff. So it's I wouldn't expect us to have a lot on the right. abs anyway. Yeah, at least not first off. And then the squats, um, I did 41 in a minute. Josh did 25 in a minute. So not bad. That can, All of them are going to improve. They will all improve and get better over time. And it's the same thing. Just like we're watching our weight you know go down hopefully yeah you know over the next <laughs> over the next you know months that we do this we're going to keep recording it or he's going to keep track of the numbers and stuff and we'd like to see improvements which is again just another way for us to you know it's 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 encouraging it's encouraging to see yourself improve it's encouraging to feel better as you do this other kind of stuff because really like like i've like i've said in the past i don't like cardio right like the whole time i was on that treadmill i hated it it was terrible yeah <laughs> i don't sweat like a it. lot yeah. yeah and like i said i mean even though i'm not sweating so much doing normal stuff but i still like cardio oh it half kills me i don't like it but that's, that's because thing. i'm not used to it that's yeah. the point of it you know we're trying to get to a point to where i am going to be used to it but you got to kind of come to a point where like even though that sucked you kind of feel okay that you got you feel good that you did it like you feel there's the, it's yeah, like there's a sense of accomplishment right like right, all yeah. right i did a whole i actually did a good job right with cardio today so you know like that's, even that's though you know and it's in you know given my own you know decision i probably would have been like ah, i'm not gonna do it today mm. um oh and that was something else i was gonna mention I, something's going on with me i don't know if i had a stomach bug or something but all this week I don't know if it was what I, you know, maybe going back to some of the old foods that I was eating before, something messed my stomach up. I was fighting some kind of stomach bug all this week and it was terrible and I'm still not 100% over it, yeah. but I felt, you know, good enough to do the gym and do the cardio and stuff. Something was going on. Yeah. Things like that are going to happen though as our bodies change. Oh yeah. I mean, well, I, that's what I don't like. I mean, if my body's going through withdrawals for certain things or something, fair enough, as long as it doesn't last a, while, a long withdrawals, time. Withdrawals. That's one thing I'm struggling with. I wanted to eat so unhealthy this week. There was like two days that I was, I would have paid somebody to come to my house, have take my order of just junk food, go get it and bring it to me. I probably would have paid them a hundred bucks to do that. But I was like, I even went out and went to Sheets and I was like, I'm going to get some food. And I said, I'm going to eat, I'm gonna eat unhealthy. I had a bad day. I'm eating unhealthy. I got there and I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and get eggs with cheese and a wrap. That's all I'm going to get. And I got is, two of them, which is fine. Ultimately not and I was kind of mad at myself, but I was really happy that I didn't make the decision to have something unhealthy. But like, it's, it's times like that where you're like, Ooh, you're on the edge. You want to have that little piece of candy. Yeah. Or you want to have that juicy cheeseburger. <clears throat> and it literally just takes you to go. No, <laughs> what I do now is going to affect how I feel all day tomorrow. So I, I don't want to do that. It's it's hard, though. It's really, really hard. Yeah, it was because even me doing the slipping that I had, what I, I guess where the root to mine has always come from, it's a mixture of, yeah, I just want whatever I have, mm -hmm. you know, whatever I want. 
but at the same time, it's also convenience as well. Like you get home from work and stuff. I'm not like I'll cook. Yep. But sometimes when I get home from work, I don't want to cook. I don't want to have to do the dishes and all the kind of, all that kind of stuff. So I, you stop and get something that's already made for you. It's just, it's a convenience thing. And unfortunately in this society, you know, we've kind of gotten conditioned to where everything's about convenience. Yeah. That's why it's so easy to eat unhealthily and it's so difficult to eat healthier because. And it's cheap. And it's cheap to eat unhealthy. I mean, because if you, if you look at McDonald's, I can't stand McDonald's. I'm personally don't like it. I just don't. It's. Out of all the unhealthy food, I'd rather go to like Taco Bell or Pizza Hut. I'm a fan I'd of much McDonald's. prefer those. But McDonald's to me, you can get a crap load of food for like five dollars. For nothing, yeah. When you could at home, you could make a meal that would take you an hour, and it would only last you one meal and maybe lunch the next day. Right. So it's it is it's it's work and it's effort to put in for that, but it's worth it. But the, the payoff end. is worth it, right? Definitely, absolutely. And you're saving money actually over time because if you do it right. You could actually like cook a large chicken or well, a lot of chicken and do vegetables and you could have meals for three or four days versus you're not going to have McDonald's every day for a dollar. You're going to go, I want Pizza Hut. How much does a whole pizza cost you? 10, 12, 14, 16 bucks, depending on where you go. So really you are saving money in the long run. You just got to be picky about your choices. And I can vouch for that as well because he and I, before we started this diet, we kind of looked over bank statements and looked over stuff. And I was spending an incredible amount of money mm-hmm. just on fast food. It was ridiculous. Like it was eye opening. Like I had no idea that I was spending that much money on fast yeah. food. And since we started doing this, the like, I like there's, I'm just saving so much more money than I mm-hmm. ever would have thought. So, I mean, it, it, there's positives all through this it's just hard it's the effort it's making it's making the change it's making the lifestyle change like making it the norm is what's so difficult about it yeah so really that's the thursday update um again you guys keep watching obviously on monday we're going to do our third way in and see if we're at the same i expect better results because where's there was no thanksgiving in the middle of all this i mean there was some slipping on my side so i'm not expecting too much but we'll but but we're all gonna we're gonna work out again tomorrow wait no are we you have to i'm still working out yeah yeah okay i'll be on vacation but i'm working out on vacation right so i'll be keeping up with it for sure So so we're gonna keep at it you know keep keep with it so you guys stay tuned And check back in with us on Monday for weigh-in number three. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks, guys. guys.